Hi, this is Tim from Latest 3DS Games and I'm here with a new download. It is Crimson Shroud from level 5. Um, it's £7 off the uh, eShop. Hopefully it's available in the US. It's obviously available here in Europe today and uh, really looking forward to having a go at this one. I really enjoyed Liberation Maiden. Obviously a totally different game. but. Um, this is going back to old school roots of Dungeons and Dragons with kind of dice throwing integrated into an RPG game. Let's just have a quick look. So this is just the start. Okay. And here's our dice if you've ever played a role-playing game, board game, you'll be familiar with those sorts of dice I'm sure. So let us have a look at what we are going to be taking on. So let's cut out of that and get into a bit of Crimson Shroud. I'm going to show you um, some gameplay now but don't worry I will upload another video or two over the weekend for this one. There's a menu available in X and I've got log op options or back. So let's kind of try and whisk our way through this a little bit. Whoops, may God have mercy on their souls. Okay. Right. In Japan, this is available on the uh, three, you know, on a sort of uh, compilation cartridge with Aero Porter and Liberation Maiden. Flint is beginning to lose his patience. Fair enough. Okay, he has no idea he's killing them. Nothing she could do. Lies in the chair before him. Still a girl. So it looks like there's going to be a bit of a story to this one, obviously. And, uh, Certainly looking interesting enough. Okay. Let's see if we can get into some action. Okay. Okay, this is getting a bit deep. Right. So I've got a couple of options here on the bottom screen. Demand again that Freya be waked. Shake the sleeping Freya. Oh, let's do that. 
Why not? Oh, that's friendly. Oh. Okay. Shaking hands. Slender metallic pipe down her throat. Okay. Oh, lovely. Oh, okay. Just needed a bit of medicine. notices she's hurt well I'd like to find out come on are we gonna get into a bit of action I'm not convinced I think this could go on a little bit but right, we're going to first gate Oh, hang on. You might do. All right. How did things go so wrong? Well planned indeed. So you are going to be, have to be prepared for some pretty hefty storytelling cutscenes. I'm going to try and show you some uh, action. If I can get there. Unfortunately I can't skip all of this, so... Okay, oh here we go. We're getting some goblins in on the action, they look pretty cool. Oh, right. I've got to spin and parry the arrow. I'm just going to dodge. Okay. Okay, touch the stylus to the touch screen to grab the dice, slide to shake it and lift the stylus to roll. Okay, I can do that. Press and hold the A button to grab the dice. And release the button. Okay, I can do that. Oh my goodness, here we go. So I really feel I ought to be showing you some dice action. So I'm gonna do that in another video. Gonna chuck them for now. And my roll result result was nine, which is success. Which means my dodge is successful. I have to do two screens on this one, I think. Okay, the first goblin rushes. Okay. I've got to feel another sh dice shake is coming up. Oh, it's all happening now. Okay, so there's a lot of text in this. Be prepared, it might speed up a little bit as you go progress through the game. So let's have a look. This might just be because it's the beginning of a game. Here we go. 
with our three characters. Certainly a different approach to a game, which is certainly to be applauded. And uh, I'm quite enjoying it, so here we go with the battle. Okay. Oh my goodness. Brilliant. No, my turn is taken by oh, dice. Attack, use magic, use an item. You can also use one of your skills, okay. Select end turn from the menu when you're finished. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna do, I don't know. Let's do an attack. Now I've got a choice of targets. I've got my goblin, goblin hunter, and Gyok. Oh. So, I'm gonna go here. Goblin. Take some of that. Can I get another go? All good. Skills. Lightning arrow. Who's that going at? I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can swap now to... Can I swap to another character? Okay, I've ended his turn because I'm confused by the menus which I'm going to show you in a minute. Build up, oh okay, that's why I couldn't use my magic and skill because I haven't really got any points. Okay. So. I'm going to need to show you both screens for sure because otherwise it's difficult to see what's going on. So I'm just going to finish this one off in a second. I've got freeze turn next. Let me just really quickly show you the bottom screen so at least you've got a little idea. So. There's attack, magic, item, skill, stats, submenu, and turn. And that's what I'm using. And obviously it's difficult to show you that on one screen. I can't do it, can I? So let's do an attack. I can choose here. Here we go. There's my choice of enemies. And obviously you can see them highlighted in the screen. So let me just uh, wallop a goblin. Uh, should we try and take that goblin out? I think we ought to. One damage? That's just not good, is it? Oh dear. Oh, I'll quickly show you the stats while I'm here. There's my stats, which are looking pretty poor at the moment. So, not really done a lot yet. I'm going to have to end that turn because I've got nothing. That was a pretty poor start. Do we get another go? Okay, okay. Skills. Okay, so I've enhanced my attack here. Now I'm going to... Can I attack that goblin? I want to take him out because he's annoying me. Take some of that. 65. Ugh. I'm going to take some more damage now. So you can see it's turn-based, obviously. And, uh, you know, it's going to take a bit of getting into. And obviously with the menus at the bottom, which I'm just going to quickly show you now on the bottom screen come on then come up for me please okay using your menus um, obviously you can go through attack choose your target 
Go to magic. Now you need to get a magic point, so I'm pressing A. I can't get anything because I've got nothing. Items, I've got a few items there which will restore health and uh, obviously can use to attack as well. Skills, focus, lightning arrow, and that'll improve your attacks. There's your stats as well. And there's a sub menu. So there is going to be a lot to it, and I'm pretty impressed so far. It's a bit, bit slow to start, but um, I'm just going to come out of that one. A um, bit slow to start, but um, I think that's just because it's the nature of the game. Obviously, it's turn based, old school RPG. So I'm going to leave it here because it's quite a long video now, um, but I will bring you some more uh, very soon. And this has been Tim at Latest 3DS Games. Thanks for watching.